Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom, and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today, I wish to speak about the difference between Israel and And Gentile, but not from ethnical point of view, historical point of view, religious point of view, or any kind of view, but from the biblical aspect, from the structure of reality. What is this formula named Israel? And what is this formula named Gentile? Let's dive into the Hebrew letters and see what What is the meaning of all of this and how we can clear our mind from the false opinions that we have collected through the 3,000 years in the last 3,000 years as humanity? The word Israel is written in five letters. Yod, Shin, Resh, Aleph, Lamed, Israel. From those letters... those five letters, we can create a new combination which comes in two words. Li, for me, Rosh, head. Meaning, the meaning of the term Li, Rosh, is I have a head or I have the capability of thinking. In other words, I have the capability of infinite thinking. This is the meaning of the name Rosh. Israel, regardless of historical conditions or circumstances, this is it. This is the structure of reality. Israel is everyone who has a head. And everyone on the planet has a head. So this is the first distinction. Now, what is a Gentile? Gentile, in Hebrew, every person who can connect via his capability of thinking to the source, because the source or the origin always communicates to us through our head. So everybody who has the capability to connect to the source is Israel. The question is, what is a Gentile? To answer this question, let us look into the words of the prophet Amos in chapter 6. Prophet Amos says the following, Hoi hasha'ananim betzion. Ho, those who are ease in Zion, v'habotchim behar shomron, and they have, they are secure in the mountain of Samaria. And here, Slowly, Amos gives us the picture of a Gentile. People who are too easy, secure, nothing moves them, nothing shakes them. The mountain Samaria is not just a geographical mountain in the land of Israel. Because today, if you open Google Maps, you will find it. The meaning of the word Shomron is, In Hebrew, Samaria in Hebrew is Shomron, is from the root letter of Shemir. Shemir. Shem. Shemir. Shemir means to conserve. Conserve. Shmarim in Hebrew are yeasts. Yeasts. Shemir, the root letters of of the mountain Shomron, Shin, Mem, Resh, has the volume of 540, for Shin is 300, Mem is 40, together they make 340, plus Resh, which is 200, they make 540. If we look at the numeral value of, of the name Yisrael, meaning I have a head. I have the capability, the 
infinite capability of thinking, it will be 541. So the distance between Israel, the one who has a head, and the one who preserve his power or maintain a face like nothing happens and he is cool is one and here in a way the prophet Amos gives us a full picture of what is the difference between people who have capability of thinking and people who are not and he continues Nekuve Rashid Haguim Rosh in Hebrew is a head in English. Rosh is not just a head in English, but it in Hebrew it means also the beginning. When we want to say a startup, we can say Rosh or Reshit, like Bereshit. But what is a Gentile, according to the Prophet Amos, is a person who has a whole in his head, meaning he has a deficiency. And this is the beginning of the Gentile in an abstract way. A person who by any meaning has a space in his head which is not filled with a connection to the source is, a, is the beginning of a Gentile in us. So, you see, it's not a matter of historical or ethnical origin or religious perception or origin. A person who is connected via his head to the source, to the one. Nothing is lacking in his... Because if a person connected via his head, nothing is lacking. But once a person has a deficiency, nekev, nekev in Hebrew is not just a hole, but if we add to the letters nekev, also he, we get nekeva is a female. So what is a female? This is very interesting. The one who has a hole in his head is also a female but not biological female is the beginning of a Gentile. So in other words, Israel in us is the one who is connected via his head. And this is a masculine element because a person who is connected via his head is a masculine. Zachar, Zuchir, is the one who remembers there is a source to everything. And people who are not remembering and they cannot connect to the source because they have a hole in their head that hides from them their connection. They are the beginning of the Gentiles. They are considered to be female. Nekiva, from Nekiv, a hole. So this was our little conversation about the difference between Israel and a Gentile but from a biblical perspective, from the abstract component of things. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to Hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlife.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kultuv and Shalom.